Oh god, I didn't even realize he's deformed. Oh, poor him. Uh, sorry, Joshua. Dragon and welcome back to Alice Mare. So the last where we left off, we went in the final world, which is Stella. We got the key and stuff. I have no idea if I uh collected all the shards, but I tried. But past the shards, uh, the white rabbit said we got a key, and we could either go through that door or we could stick it in one of the children who but if we do, um they won't come back. They'll be stuck in this world forever and they'll die. Uh, so in that case, I'm actually going to do, do stab the key in all four of the children. But but I'll do it in, I won't do it in the order we went to the world. I'll do it in which, uh, I guess I favored less. I don't know. I don't really know who's responsible for bringing me here, but, um, or who doesn't want to belong here, I guess. Uh... I think I'm gonna go with Stella first because it seems like she doesn't like this world at all and she just wants wanted to end it all as to see. That's what we saw in the last video where she ate the apple. She's like, Do you wanna eat this apple too? And we just declined. No. It's like suit yourself. Bye Alan. So I think I'll stop the key in her first. Oh wait. <laughs> Wrong room. Alright. That's Stab with the key. Sorry, Stella. Oh god, that sound again. Okay, well, we're back here. I guess everything's the same. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll check on the others. Let's go check here. Uh, I forgot your name. <laughs> uh, Letty, was it? I think it was Letty. This is Chelsea. You got nothing to say either. This is Joshua. And you got nothing to say. Let's see Stala. And eh, she's still in bed. No response. She's dead. I feel bad. Okay. Oh, there's a book here. A black notebook. Sure, let's read it. Uh, do we put her name? Hey, I did it! Okay. There's a small church drawn in the corner. Wait, I gotta give her that quiet voice, kind of. A lot of drawings of apples. One page is colored completely black. Teacher's eyes. The same. Pitch black. Strange. The same eyes that as that town. Yet he breeds. Why? Oh. That's it then. Okay, well, that was one of the endings where we stabbed Stella. All right then, that is, looks like that's her. And that first one, the second one, it looks like that's her again, but uh, she's just walking, I guess. Then the third one. Let's see, I that's people getting vaccinations, I think. It's either her getting the vaccination or the other people are getting vaccinated. And the other one is with Stella, just walking, I guess. And, oh, the next one coming up, everyone died around her. I'm guessing from some disease, but she was immune to it. So everyone around her in her village died except her, it seems. Oh, no, she's alone, I guess, after what happened. Oh, wait, is someone offering her an apple to go along with them? It looks like, I think. Uh, oh no, she's guided by light or something. 
I have no idea what these pictures mean. <laughs> Honest to God, I really don't. But I really, I kind of like Stella a little bit. But it seemed like she didn't want to live that much. So that's why I did her first. Okay. This music's nice though. I can't tell what else is happening, honestly. Alice Mayer. Oh, it looks like she found teacher in there. And she's gonna live there. It looks like Letty and Rick. Yeah, that's cute. They died again. Everyone died. Why don't I die? Why am I still breathing? I'm scared to sleep. Someone might die again. It might be me next. Sorry, Stella! And Poison Apple. Yeah, I figured she would be want to be the first one to go since everyone around her died. Kind of, so I figured she'd want to die too, so that's why I did her first. Okay. Going back to the... Going back... Let's see. Second person we could stab is Letty. Rick, I guess. <laughs> Letty or Rick. Uh, we're gonna do her next. Gonna stab her with the key. Sorry, Letty. I think that's her name. Oh, this noise again. Please don't deafen my ears. Finally, it's over. Okay. Uh, let's get up. And we're gonna walk. Okay, skip Letty's room. Go to Chelsea. You still have nothing to say. Oops. You still have nothing to say. I think they all have nothing to say, really. And including Stella, who's alive! Yay, Stella's alive. Poor Letty, though. Let's check on her. There's nobody else in the bed. No response. And there's the book again. Burgundy notebook. Read. Letty, right? I was right! There was a butterfly in the garden today. I tried to teach it a cook. I tried to give it a cookie. Whoops. Teacher gave me. But the butterfly seemed to like the flowers better. Are flowers tasty? I wonder. Are they sweeter than sweets? It rained today. Rain makes everything damp, and you can't play outside. I hate it. That's exactly what's going on outside. I found myself thinking it'd be nice if all this rain were candy. That's a good idea. Then I would die of diabetes. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I need to do schoolwork. Though I've been slapping. I mistook Rick's notebook for mine, and he got angry at me. I didn't look at what he wrote, but I know. He looks so sad. Am I a bad kid, teacher? I'll need to probably tell him I'm sorry later. I know why. I know why mother and father and our home burned. But I won't say it because it only make Rick more sad. I need to be stronger. Teacher, please teach me more things. So I'm assuming Letty and Rick's story is Hansel and Gretel. Except Rick is not a real human being. Letty, Letty just kind of made him up as a friend to keep her company from her life. Okay, look, see, she has her mom and dad. She has family. Uh, let's see, the next one. Her mother? Her mother takes her outside, it looks like. Like for a walk or something. I I'm not sure. <laughs> It looks like she said she got left alone and she's crying because her mom's like, we don't have enough food for you. You need to leave. Stay here. Yeah, that's what ha happened in Hansel and Gretel. So, oh, look, someone I'm assuming it's Rick that took that offered to be her friend or something. I'm guessing that's the person she made up in her mind to be not lonely because it doesn't seem like Rick is real except in the other world. Oh, let's see. 
Oh. Well, she's just there alone, it seems. Is there more? Yeah, I can't tell the others. She is she running somewhere? Oh, she's following the guy. She's following the boy. It looks like. Hmm. Oh, she's huddled in the corner again. It looks like. But where is she? I don't know. Oh. Oh, she found teacher. Yeah, it looks like she found teacher. That's cute. Found teacher with Rick, I'm guessing, and stayed. Rick? My, you're asleep again. You're already asleep. I should go to bed too. Teacher will get mad. Hey, I wonder how many more times I'll be able to tell you good night, Rick. And two of us. Oh, well, that's cute. A little bit. But kind of sad. Okay. Gonna load the next file. Oh, I'm having a hard time to choose between Chelsea and Joshua. I love them both. They don't, they didn't deserve any of it. Especially Joshua and Chelsea. And oh my god, I don't want to add either of them. But uh, if I have to, I'll pick Joshua next. Honestly, because Chelsea is too pure and cute. She didn't deserve what happened to her. Joshua is... it. Like, I feel bad for him, but at the same time, he kind of killed his... Kind of, you know, told a lot of bad jokes and stuff. And then when he was trying to be serious, his mom didn't take him seriously. Because, you know. Uh, so, Joshua's next. Oh, God. I didn't even realize he's deformed. Oh, poor him. Uh, sorry, Joshua. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Well, we are going to get up now and exit. Letty, do you have anything to say? No. I'm assuming everybody has nothing to say, so I'm just gonna go straight to Joshua. And he's asleep. Or dead. Probably. I don't know. Turquoise notebook. Let's read. Um, Joshua. Alright. Today, I found a frog with a weird pattern on it. When teacher was sleeping, I snuck it in his hood. I think he likes it. I think it likes it. I also put one on his desk, in his pocket, and on his head. It's been getting cold, so it was tough to find them. I think we've got way too much homework. What does homework have to be such a pain? I feel you, Joshua. That kid who arrived. Alan? He seems super smart. I'm impressed. Of course I'm doing my own homework. Don't doubt me. My hat was gone when I woke up this morning. I got really uneasy. I finally found it under my bed. I thought I was going to die. Why did I feel that way? Why did I say such a thing? How did I feel back then? I don't remember what I've said or haven't said. It's definitely best not to say anything, but they won't look at me if I don't speak up, will they? Sorry for everything, teacher. And that's the end of Joshua's story. I believe Joshua is the little... Not the little red right hand, sorry. Uh, the boy who cried wolf. Chelsea's little red riding hood, my bad. Look, he had a family, a brother, sister, mother, father. And it looks like a mess of paperwork. And the mother looks sick, actually. Yeah, she looks kind of sick. See, it looks like the little boy is grabbing onto her and he's going to tell her jokes and stuff. It, yeah, he looks like he's having fun with her. Uh, 
Uh, but then the fun turns bad and she didn't want to take it anymore, so she didn't really listen anymore. Oh, she, and that's when he found his father hanging and tried to tell mom, I'm guessing. Yeah, he tried to tell mom, but mom wouldn't believe him, so she kind of ignored him. Because he kept telling different lies, and she thought they were true, but they weren't. And then when he's finally telling the truth, she won't listen. Mm, poor Joshua. Oh, was he talking to somebody? I don't know who he was talking to. This would explain why he's such a troublesome kid. Because he used to do that when he was younger. And then stuff happened. And yeah. Maybe he called up the orphanage to talk to teacher or something. That could probably be it. As we can see, he's talking to teacher. All right. Does the moon only have a round shape? Or is it, tri uh, is it a square and a triangle too? It doesn't snow in summer. Yeah, that sounds right. Cats aren't as big as a bus. Can't be. And dogs too? You need a coat in winter. Don't need one in summer. Then what about me? Was I needed or unneeded? Aw, Joshua. And crying wolf. See? He's the, he's the, um, the little boy who cried wolf. As in, I didn't need to. But poor Joshua. Even though he was kind of mean saying that kind of stuff to his mom. I just, I just feel so bad for him. I just want to hug him. Okay, loading up next file. Uh, I don't want to do this to Chelsea, but I gotta. Alright, let's go. I'm sorry, Chelsea. I love you. Oh my god, no, poor sweetie. Look at her. She's kind of bloodied up. I'm so sorry. Sorry, Chelsea. And here we go again. And we're back in our bed again. I'm not gonna even bother checking on the other kids because they're not gonna say anything. Oh, Chelsea, I'm sorry, I had to. Uh, let's look at her book. A vermilion notebook. Vermilion! Maybe it's vermilion. I'm sorry. Read. Chelsea. Yay! It's very scary in the afternoon when the sky turns all red. I really don't like thunder either. It sounds so scary. Teacher, can't you change the color of the sky? Oh, we wish. Today, Letty invited me to play outside. We played in the flower garden. Then suddenly I saw a caterpillar on my shoulder, and I yelped and cried. Joshua was nearby, and he took the caterpillar. I asked him what he was doing, and he said he was collecting frogs. Be careful, teacher. Teddy's arm came off. What should I do? I'm scared. He's falling apart. What if the same thing happens again? Help me. That night... I had a dream where I saw it again. Teacher, I'm sorry for asking the impossible and so late at night too. It just hurts. I can't let it happen again. Will it happen again someday? Will the day come when I can live with mother and father? Oh, Chelsea, I wanna hug her. Chelsea is the little red riding hood. I am completely sure of that. Story time! She lived with her mother and her father, it looks like. It, sh it looks like grandpa, but I don't think it's grandpa. I think it's, uh, father. And Chelsea's mom was actually sick. It looks like she's sick laying in bed. I think she's asking her to go get some medicine from grandmama! Grandma. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. 
She's walking in the field and picking flowers. It looks like someone was gonna offer her help too. Yeah, she, he was asking for her help. And they were holding hands together. That was cute. Until, until we all know what happened. Pick flowers for the grandma, met a stranger, and walked along to grandma's with holding hands. All right. She went to get the medicine in the house with the boy behind. Okay, that's when it looks like the boy killed her grandmother. That's the, what Chelsea refers to as the big bad wolf. I think it was her father that killed her, her grandmother. That's what I think. I'm not entirely sure, but he stole all the medicine for himself and ran away with it after killing the grandmother. Ooh, a letter. And that's when she went to teach her. This is so cute. This is really, really adorable. And oh my god. A heart doll. Why did I kill the wolf then? Oh yeah, she killed him too. She, he was gonna steal the medicine and then he, she killed him. After what, after she saw what happened, I guess. And she didn't want to relive that day. I had no choice but to kill it. Father, are you well, mother? Please hurry. I need to stay well too. I'm sorry. And the color red. Oh my god, Chelsea! Ah! I want to cry now. I love Chelsea. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Okay, well, we did all four of the endings, but we still have to go through that door over there. So, we will actually continue more of Alice Mare in the next video and hopefully get the true ending. I know that there's multiple endings, but I'll just see what happens, you know? Uh, so, we'll just continue more in the next video. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos, then click subscribe. Then... See you guys in the next video. Bye!